Black Friday sale is roaring. It started this morning on Market Watch, and it's still going. If you guys enter MCO40, you will save on MCOGames.com. I will have a link down below. That way, you guys can check out the website, and you guys can go, Woo, Robbie, Papa Robbie's got the Black Friday deals. Yes, I do. We had a little bit of extra mats that I had. I had a couple set away for giveaways. I'm going to give the opportunity for you guys to pick that up. Uh, once they're gone, that's it. Period. All right? So... Let's dig on into Sky Strikers and an engageful story, shall we? Barva brought up a little interesting point in his previous video here, uh, talking about engage, and I was I was kind of like, yeah, all right. Today, I want to ask you guys: Do you think Sky Striker Engage can come back to one? Now, previously, the TCG was abusing the crap out of this. Now, we were abusing it out in a little bit different of a fashion. We were using it as the ability to search for the token generator, and then we would actually use the token generator to make the Kagari. Kagari, add back the Hornet drones, and we'd activate the Hornet drones, and bada bing, bada boom, you've already got two monsters on the field for you to link climb with, are set up for whatever possible future scenario that you want to set up for. All right, that's not much of an issue. Now, he did bring up the fact that Sky Striker has been at, what, double engaged, double Hornet drones for a while in the OCG now, and the deck's kind of taken a back seat. Now, I'm already here in the comments going, re, re, no, no, I don't want engage back. No, 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 it's too bad. Guys, look at me. Look at me, look me in the eyes. I understand that triple engage was a little bit of an issue. I understand that four engages, five engages in a turn is absurdity. All right, I understand that. Having decks like Sky Striker that have a means to get multiple spell cards in the graveyard and then engage, that's where the problem kind of lies at this point. It's when you have this massive turbo speed that, oh look, I've got three spells in the graveyard. Let me just search your deck thin the plus one. And you're like, this is mine now. Oh, look at my plus one I got. Oh, there's nothing you can do about it. My greatest fear about bringing this back is we re-enter into the era of splash ability. All right, decks can play one Hornet Drones, one Engage, and one Kagari. You can dedicate two cards in your extra deck, or excuse me, two cards in your main deck now for the ability to get that token generator. All right, now you're playing two copies of Mr. Beautiful Make Token card. All right, that's a wee little bit of an issue, but based on how OCG, honestly, the OCG is a little bit slow. No, that's a lot slower than ours. The format really is that different, all right? Our game is super quick. We're, we're bashing our faces across the table. We're summoning these huge Boralode Savage Dragons. We're oppressing our opponents. We're making people not want to play the game out here. And the OCG's playing a much different game. You have Zeus's running around making some cool boards. But at the end of the day, it's, it's not crazy. It's not this degeneracy over there. Even with Harpoor at one, the OCG has found ways to balance out these issues that they've had. And to say that we've got double engage over there, while, okay, yeah, they do have double engage, double Hornet drones. They've also, mine is at one, if I believe correct. You guys can comment down below and call me some stupid, dumb looking guy because uh, I, I got the wrong amount of Mystic Mine in the OCG wrong or something. But, because we have this chain, it, it confuses me. Because the TCG and the OCG should effectively do the same thing. I, I understand subtle card differences. The OCG is a set ahead of us. Um, our players, it comes down to raw mentality. Their players enjoy the game. I need to think, think, think clearly here for this next part. Their players enjoy engaging in, I, I would say, honorable Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we just go, kidney. we just smash our face across the ground and go, hmm, all right. We're, we're very combo-centric here in the TCG, and I think that's where some of our problem lies. 
Engage is fine in the OCG because there's less combo over there. There's still combo, yeah. Um, I mean, their current combo is make Zeus summon Zodiac go do 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 do. Uh, all right, make make Zeus. You lose now. I have two board wipes. I I get that. My greatest fear is can engage come back? While I do want to say yes, I would love to see one engage. I want to see people go crazy. I want to see people running around with their heads cut off like chickens, going, oh, I, sh I shouldn't have sold it. All right, and then these Sky Striker Altees are going to go to the moon again. Every time an unban happens, people lose their minds. But like I said, my greatest fear in all of this is going to come down to, is it going to be splashable? Are we going to be making a mistake by bringing this back? I don't work for Konami, nor do I really intend to ever. Um, I'm just going to, once again, reiterate, you know, Konami R&D usually does a good job with this. I don't know how you guys missed LP, by the way, on your list. Um, good job on that one, by the way. But, at the end of the day here, how splashable is the TCG going to abuse this if we bring it back? How well will we combo? Will we put Kagari back to one? I think that's probably going to be our trade-off, as much as I don't want it to be. I kind of have a feeling that the TCG is going to be like, no, no, you cannot have triple Kagari. All right, this isn't fair. All right, you guys can't have that. And while I can understand that, um, I think even triple copies. So best scenario here, you go Ray attack, dry up the engage into the graveyard with the Hayate. All right, now, by modern current Sky Striker setup, you're still not going to get those three cards in the graveyard. All right, it's really freaking hard to do. I don't I don't think I've seen... There are very few scenarios where I see Sky Strikers load up the graveyard now on turn one and get maximum value out of it. Once again, that's where the power creep comes in. Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG is such a going-first-oriented game. We build these stupid, big, dummy, thick boards that go ara ara, smash smash, and they're like, all right, I've set up the Trift Gaming Special, 18 negates, all right? And you're sitting here with your feebled five card or four card hand, because you're like, no, I, I, I guess, you know, you lost a card somewhere along the way to a smoke grenade, you got Chaos Dragon Levy and aired, you know, and you're just like, draw for turn, four cards in here, you're like, I mean, I, I understand it, all right? Uh, but that's that's how power creep has gone at this point in the game. And that's the example that ties in with Striker at this point. Sky Striker usually wants their battle phase, all right? Now, if they're looking at a Warload Savage lock in their extra deck over there, they're not going to be able to do anything, all right? Now, depending on how we check things on this upcoming list, and if we truly go after the Kagari and we bring back the Engage... I feel like we kind of put them in the same boat as Zodiac, but the problem with Zodiac is they're inherently better. Yeah, I said it. I, As of this point in time, if you put Kagari to one, bring Engage back to one, I still think that Zodiac is a better deck than Sky Striker. But Robbie, they have Mystic Mine. Yeah, and Zodiac has a Deuce Ex Machina God called Double A Zeus with the Heavenly Thunder Armament of God. All right, so... I guess interesting comparisons if they really want to cripple these engines in that way, but I don't know. I'm curious. Guys, I want to ask you, do you think bringing back Engage to 1, all right, like like Farfa was bringing up, um, do you think that it's fine? Do we need to retouch Kagari on a list, or do you think just dropping one Engage back into our format would make all that difference? Do you... Do you? Do, do you not? I look forward to reading those comments. I look forward to hearing the people go, No, Robbie, you just want to sell all the Sky Striker engages that you have. People seem to think I have this magical inventory of cards. And, I mean, while I do have this magical stock of inventory here, that is not the case. All right? We're not trying to go baddies crazy with that. All right? So... No, I don't have a super secret stockpile of engages. I own three engages, all right? And they're the same ones that I played when Sky Strikers were a good deck. So please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Enjoy the Black Friday sale. And make sure you guys get what you want, all right? Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, 
I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCall40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCall40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.